I'm a United States Marine, and I went to the Persian Gulf when uh, uh, the old Papa Bush was the president. General Schwarzkopf that said, bomb these area, bomb the runway, bomb their bridges, bomb their military installations, their bases. And then there was a, whenever they had a, a raid on, on a certain area, Arnold Schwarzkopf said, no, no, don't, don't bomb that one. So there was a few of them. Pretty soon they started saying, how come you don't want us to bomb this place? This place. He said no to this one. And then Arnold Schwarzkopf says, that's their sacred ground. That's their holy place. That's where they come and they do their prayer. That's their churches. So we did that over there. How come we, we want to bomb this sacred place where we all come? Sometimes I wish I could just live out here. And, you know, I was telling my uh, people, I said, you know, we should move back to our homeland. Our elders, they lived off the land and the plants and whatever not. And, uh, you know, they made a living out here. And that's what makes it even more, you know, a lot sacreder because they lived off the land and didn't have to rely on uh, running to town and get a soda pop and come back out and watch TV or right. whatever. Right. You know? it's, it's great to get out here in these public lands with your, your friends and family, do some exploring, visit new areas that you never thought you'd get to visit be able to have the opportunity to put down an amazing, beautiful bird like this. I think that the media uh, makes you understand this is a hunter's monument. Yeah. It's a monument to the culture of hunting yeah. and the history on the land and the history of hunting. Mm -hmm. It's such an amazing story. And it's, uh, we were ta you were telling me about in the truck how, how everyone came together, all the tribes came together yeah. it, around this idea of preserving uh, a place that has such cultural value and such deep meaning and such spiritual meaning. You know, all the tribes that are involved in protecting these uh, bears at one time or some time in the past were enemies. You know, they killed each other. They were at war all the time, wherever they were at. Uh, and so what was unique about was these five tribes coming together and forgetting about the past and wanting to move forward and protect and save bears. You know, it's amazing that people come out here to hunt because the land is really unique, you know. This is some of the best turkey hunting that I have ever experienced throughout the West. We're up here in Ponderosa, Aspen country, Gamble Oak. This is the most game-filled country. There's elk, mule deer, bear, uh, incredible numbers of turkeys. It's so important that we have big tracts of habitat like this so that our game can thrive. The Department of Interior is doing a comment period right now. They're talking about shrinking this monument and doing away with all this quality habitat. So sportsmen and women, I urge you all to log on to the link connected to this video. Comment to the DOI. Let's keep these monuments big. Let's keep this habitat healthy urge all of you to do this. This is your country. This is your habitat. And come up here and enjoy this hunting. Thanks a lot.